In version 9, we can connect grids to any of the available connection types, not just analysis services. These include relational databases like SQL Server and Oracle, platforms like SAP HANA and Power BI, and many of the big data sources like Amazon Redshift and Google BigQuery. In this case, we'll connect to SQL Server, so I'm going to specify my server name, press connect, and then pick the database. We are then presented with a view of the database objects, where we can click and drag tables across from the tree view into the designer. In this video, we will be using a view that has the required data already. At this point, we are presented with a familiar grid designer, so any columns that return numeric information are treated as measures. So, I'll move measures onto the columns into the report and select the sum of amount and the sum of quantity. The non-numeric columns are treated as attributes or hierarchies, so if we want to report by region, I can move region onto rows and we can put fiscal year, month, product category and model available as filter elements within the report. For region, we will select the children of the all hierarchy. And we already have two specified measures. So finally, we'll restrict the selection to a specific year. In this case, 2012. We now have a simple Excel cube grid. As with any grid, we can add calculations. So we'll add a column calculation to work out the average selling price. We'll name the column ASP. And beneath that, in the first cell, we will say it is equal to the sum of amount divided by the sum of quantity. I can bring other hierarchies into play. So we're currently looking at the report split by region. I could move product category by dragging the label down to the right of region. So let's do this now. Double click and drill into the all category and I'll see the product sales for each region. I can also create a breakout on the data. So a right click on the amount figure for Europe and go to Excel cubed and then breakout value. A breakout lets me analyze the data by any other hierarchy in the pivot view model that we've built. So in this case, we'll pick the model at one level down and click OK. Now we can see the products contributing to the number in our active cell. As I move the active cell, the breakout result updates accordingly. Other standard Excel cube grid behavior is the same. For example, I can type a year in cell K6 and then point fiscal year directly to that cell. When I then change the data in the cell to 2012, the grid and the breakout updates in sync. Similarly, we can add slicers by right clicking and selecting add slicer. By default, the slicer will be a tree view. However, this can be changed to any of the available types as per the normal process. So I have a very simple Excel cube grid that's running against SQL, but could just as easily be any other relational database.